Question of the video, can you get away without playing with draughts? I've answered in previous videos, yes you can. I've even done a video on how, you know, playing a deck with Lady U Lake with it. Just to prove that Noble Knights are so good that Lady U Lake can still be used and you can still win, you know, without Madraw. Which I have on my list of, it's underneath Lady Builds. But, you know, but that that's not a testament of, oh, Lady U Lake is a great card. No, at the time it was a testament to Noble Knights are so good that you can play them without Madraw. And you came from the lady in there, and it will still, you know, overcome most decks. Despite lady being at the time one of the worst Nova Knight cards. Now, lady's okay. Still kind of garbage, but she's okay. You can play her. Even though I've been main decking one of her and working with it, and it's been kind of fun, kind of good, and useful. Especially in part thanks to Ector and the Round Table and Forest Burial, but, you know, blah. So, yes, you can play without Madrots. I'm actually going to work on a deck build later that will run no Madrots and then, you know, enter into my local tournaments and stuff and compete and give you a report on the details of what happened. You know, but Madrot! Everyone swears that Madrot is, a, is the key engine of the deck, the winning, you know, the, uh, the winning card of the deck. Honest and truly, he's a reinforcement of the army. That's literally all he is. And he's literally worthless unless you have no monsters on your field. Which, grand, if you have him in your hand, or a Sacred King on the field and him in the graveyard, and your opponent just field wipes your board, you can spell summon him out, or next turn summon him, then use Guanavar over here to spell summon out another Noble Knight for the deck to overlay into whatever exceeds you want, be it rank 4 or rank 5. Which is really powerful plays, but honestly, and truly, turn one, the only reason he's more powerful now than he was before is thanks to boars, because when you spell some out boars, you can send your your noble arms to graveyard, which fends out your deck and makes your deck better. So honestly, and truly, he's the more important key play. He brought him out so he can do his job. You know, back in the day, I used to just you know. Spell summon out High Lancelin. You know, summon him, equip Destiny or whatnot, spell summon Lancelin, tribute him, search an normal arm, and equip them to Madra. Then next turn, spell summon out Normal or Torgus, spell summon Lancelin back, attack, then tribute him for no Noble arm, and add to him. That was my combo back in the day before we had Boars. So, Arnold Centuri, between the two, who's more important? Him. He allows you big exceed play. He allows you exceed plays and combos, but he alone does what you really need. He puts the noble arms in your graveyard so you can make bigger, better plays later. Honest true, you start off with Destiny or Excalibur, then use his effect to get Gwenevar. Now, well, say you did this, you search Gwenevar and then double Destiny. The Destiny is over there. Your opponent, you have a two and three chance that your opponent is going to pick the Destiny. You get the Destiny, equip it, then equip Gwenevar, and you literally have boars who cannot be targeted, cannot be destroyed once per turn, and is Cataster once per turn. He's honestly the better opening play between the two, because if you go draw it first, and you go into boars, you kind of you're kind of in a position where you really need just to summon Sacred King. And if you have Sacred King out, yeah, he's a great he's a great wall. You can pop monsters. He has God knows wherever attack, you know, typically 27 attack and can't be destroyed or targeted. But you don't have boars on board anymore. He's not there to be like, send more noble arms to the graveyard for later. I run triple X Caliburns. I want all, you know, I want either one hand, two in grave, or one equipped, or whatnot. I want the, I want one of these in the graveyard. So I can rank up and rank down my exceeds, you know, these guys. Because going up and down with these guys is devastating for your opponent. You know, it's like, you can also do the OTK combo where you spell some out, you know, Grouse had, then, you know, spell some Gwen. Overlay, then Grouse has effect. This detach this for whatever exceed you overlay to do the OTK combo. But you know, 
I haven't done that in ages, and I'm running two grouse hats and three guanes, so, you know, special amount of boars, add stuff to deck and overlay, you know. This is not as mandatory as people think for the deck to actually be playable. This is not the key card of the deck. This is a major player, but it's not the key card of the deck. If anyone was the major player, these were the major players. In fact, I would even say Guinevere is the most important card of the deck. Then him, then Boars. I mean, Madrop. Which I know sounds like blasphemy, but honestly, truly, if you play the deck and you play it well, that's really how it works. She's VIP because she re equips from the graveyard and gives you two gray effects. Boars allows you to search your no arms from the deck to graveyard so you can make future exceed plays that are good. Hell, Boars straight up, just properly equipped, is a monster. He's a beat stick, which against Sir Dolls, him fully loaded? Literally, is you just wrecking your opponent? You know, you don't want to exceed someone against their dolls because they will be able to play their freaking fusion card. <coughs> Sorry. And send material from the deck to the graveyard for the exceed. I mean, for the fusion, which gets really annoying. So, truthfully, you have a better chance against them just summoning knights and using their effects. And the no arms, and you are exceeding. But that's just my input. Now, for a lady build. For a non madra lady build, actually you don't even have to put Lady of Lake in here. I'm going to do it because I feel like it will give me a better chance. It will give me a more proficient deck because it will allow me to drop Lancelons, which would be really good. You know, I feel the deck is really compa truly compatible because thanks to Brothers, it's like these are going to be like the key cards to making a non madra deck. You know, it's like Ector, I, I'm going to work in because I think it will be good. And Dryston. Lancelin, I know it's going to be triple boars, triple brothers, triple grain, power two grouse hats because he ain't great, but at two it allows me to recycle Gwains or whatever I need. Later, Lake, I'm probably going to try at two first. May drop it to one, but we'll go from there. One Ector because you only need one. Dryston, maybe at two. Lancelin, I don't know. I'm going to try at one. Definitely not two. You know, these guys definitely one each. I'm going to try because I'm also going to run Round Table, which will allow, give me fodder to send him to the graveyard and him and just start loading up because that will allow me to make better future plays. You know, I hope, my whole goal is hopefully get him towards turn one, set him up, start doing stuff, then just like use his effect to summon him, 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 or whatnot and just do good combos, you know. Forest Burial will also be a key part because I ain't ditched this or these guys. I might run Rescue Rabbit with the normal Artor Gisses and see how that goes. Because I'm not running Madra. I can do other good stuff that are still compatible that are still compatible. You know, but you know, basically at the end of the day, you know Noble Knights don't need Madra to win. You know, because you have boars and you have these cards take up the slack. You know. I'm pretty sure people are going to completely disagree or think I'm crazy or whatnot, but uh no, nah, if you're a true Nova Knight player, you already know you can do this. Uh comment right comment, like, subscribe, click an ad if you haven't, because it helps me out. You know, just click an ad and as soon as it pops up in the next window, X them off. You don't even have to watch it. Just click it then X them off. Um Stay away from Pojo. There's like over half the people who comment on Nova Knights there on the official page really are conceited and don't know what they're talking about. Conceited and closed minded. That's the better way to put it. Conceited and closed minded. So, anywho, have a great day.